Hey guys, it's Betty Glasgow here once again. Welcome back to my channel. This video is that about uh, a judge ruled finally yesterday um, that Trump did have the right to place whoever the hell he wanted to in the CB, CBFP, is that what it's called? That Dan, the Elizabeth Warren, yeah, CFPB. Um, the piece of crap <clears throat> certification bureau, the, or regulation bureau. They love to find people. It was it was a bullshit operation placed there by the uh, at the will of Senator Warren uh, by Obama, and its whole job was to fucking hunt people down, businesses down, and find the shit out of them. Because um, Warren hates capitalism, she hates banks. Um, she hates pretty much businesses. I mean, I don't understand why she hates banks when the bitch makes most of her money from real estate. I mean, she's a businesswoman, How the, and she's fucking stupid. So she's gonna go after banks. Well, okay, well, she don't need them fucking money. She's worth a couple million dollars. Cause she likes to Jew, Jew out the uh, American taxpayer. So this is an entity that has doesn't report to anyone in Congress or the Senate. Doesn't report to anyone in Washington. Is its own entity. The taxpayer pays for it, and if they decide to fine you, or, or fine you, uh, give you fines to try to shut you down, you have no recourse to go against them. Can't take it to the Senate, can't take it to Congress, can't to nobody. That's a bullshit fucking public, um, organization. Bullshit bureau. And so when the head guy decides to leave, he tries to appoint his own person. Nope, Trump decides to step in. No, he ain't. Put my guy in there. So little Miss Wani Pants decides to under sue, um, I guess you know, the Trump admin, trying to say he can't do that. Um, Constitution specifically states that a president can hire anyone and place anyone in any executive section of the, the executive branch he wants. Hmm, guess where that lies in? That CFPB lies in the executive branch, so he can put him there. Just says, "Yep, Trump is correct." His guy is now in charge. So now we will see what they decide to do with that. Personally, I think they, since it's not accountable to anybody, it's not a true entity recognized by the Constitution, it should be shut down. Shut down. There's some fucking safe tax money right there. Warren will go ballistic. A few of our buddies, like probably Sanders will probably go ballistic. Don't fucking care. If you don't answer to nobody, you should not be an entity. Everyone in government needs to be answerable to either the people, the Congress, the Senate, or the President. So, a win for Trump. Bad day for Warren and the Libertards. But, oh, I heard that. Oh, it, it's like, oh, I know the whining factory is just coming down. Oh, speaking of whining factory, today CNN announced that they're going to boycott the, the White House of uh, Christmas party. Oh, good. You don't fucking need to be there. Um, but here's the funny thing. <clears throat> in, in the past, this includes uh, the Obamas, Bushes, pretty much in the past, their parties were, because parties were for basically the high ups, like the elite, the anchors, and their executives. Trump and Melania did something different this year. They wanted to invite the entire press corps and their families, like everyone who did the camera work, the lights. The people who never got the credit, who weren't the main people who normally got there, they decided they were going to invite them instead. Well, and maybe a couple anchors. Um, to the party. Oh, CNN came out, nope, we're boycotting, our employees are going to boycott that. So they're going to try to fuck around your employees, fuck it. If I was a CNN employee and I wanted to go that, fuck you, I'd go to the president, I'd go to the boss, say, hey Mr. President, I want to be here so much. I told CNN fake news to go fuck themselves and I was going to come to the president. The president probably give you a fucking job. Alright, take your own trail. So he said, go to hell, see you then. I wanted to see the president. I want to go to the White House. <laughs> Fucking want to ask CNN. Anyway. So there's some victories for Trump. Again, stock markets are up. Unemployment's down. Jobs are being created. Black Friday. Um, Cyber Monday. Um, all the holiday shopping for the weekend. Astra fucking nomical up a couple billion dollars. Of, uh, I think they said about five billion dollars was spent 
Um, over 84 million people were shopping. That's a good chunk of the American population. Now, a lot of it was online shopping because you can get a lot of deals, better deals, online shopping. Um, but next year, that's probably going to change because I think the retail markets, the brick and mortar side, we need to be better than online to attract people in. So they're going to make our deals a lot cheaper. Good, you're thinking. So, everything's going great. I just wanted to put that out there for this video. Go check out my other videos. Go down below, like, dislike, and subscribe. As always, you guys take care, and I'll see you all next time.